Okay, so today's lesson you are investigating diffusion. So I'm going to do the experiment and you can write my results down for me. So the first thing I need to do, I've got all of my equipment out ready to go. I've got a kettle that's just boiled, three 100ml beakers, a stopwatch, a measuring cylinder, a ruler, and three tea bags. I've got one pyramid, one that's circle, and one that's square. So we're going to see if the surface area of these tea bags affects how good the tea is. Okay? So, first thing I need to do is measure them. So, you'll need to write these down as I go through. So, the square tea bag is six and a half centimetres across, and then measuring top to bottom, it's seven. So, six and a half across, seven centimetres down. So, you can use that to work out the surface area. The circular one is 6.2 centimetres across. That would be its diameter. The pyramid, a little bit more complicated. So the sides of the pyramid going up are 6.5 centimetres. And along the base, oh that's easy, 6.5. So it's 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, nice and easy. So now that I've measured them, we can do the experiment. So to make sure that it's a fair test, I'm gonna make sure that I use the same temperature water and I'm gonna make sure I use the same volume of water. So the first thing I'm going to do is measure out um, the volume of water that I'm gonna use. And I think we'll use, um, we're gonna use 40 centimeters cubed of water in each one. Obviously I'm being really careful not to spill it, although I am spilling it a little bit. So I didn't do this for the last one, but I will use the measuring cylinder properly on this one. So remember to put the measuring cylinder on a flat surface and then look at eye level. There's the next one. And last one. Okay. So I am going to put the tea bags in for 30 seconds. I'm not going to stir them um, because if I stir one, I've got to stir all of them. So I'm just going to leave them. And then we're going to observe what happens to the colour of the water in that time. So I'm going to put them all in at the same time, or I'm going to try. And I'm going to start the stopwatch. Okay. Nearly there. Oh, one extra second by accident. That's okay though. Right, so we can see already, even before I take the tea bags out, which I'll do now, you can see there's definitely a difference in colour, isn't there? So as I take them out, I'm going to be really careful not to squeeze any extra tea out. We should have bought an extra beaker to put these in. I'm just going to put them on top of this measuring cylinder. <laughs> Next one, circle one. I'm trying to do this quickly, so. <laughs> Sorry, Costa, I've made a bit of a mess here. It's all right. <laughs> and last one. Okay, so I think I can see definitely in this light that you've got a much lighter one here and this one was the square one, this one was the circle one and this one was the pyramid. I think there's a definite difference between the square and the other two. These two, I think there is a difference and I do think this one, the pyramid, is the darkest one. But there's not too much of a difference between the circle and the pyramid. So if I was making a cup of tea, personally, I'd probably have this one. It depends how you like your tea. But what you can do now is you can form a conclusion on how the surface area of the tea bag affects the rate of diffusion.